okay uh, welcome viewers so in this video lecture we want to learn about quantifiers okay so basically there are two types of quantifier one is universal quantifier and other one is existential quantifier so first uh, the name of this topic is quantifier quantifier okay so first of all we talk about universal quantifier okay so suppose that that you are given one statement px okay suppose that that px is the statement see if this statement is true for all values of x in the domain okay then we say that that the truth value of for all this symbol is for all for all x this px is true okay uh, if uh, this px statement is true it is true for all values of x then we say that the truth value of that for all x px is true okay and if it is not true for the all values of x in the domain uh, then it means that that uh, there is some value of x for which it is not true okay and that x is called counter example of for all x px okay uh, i repeat if an element for which this px is false then that element is called the counter example of for all x px now next we want to talk about uh, existential quantifier <coughs> so uh, this this is called an existential quantifier by existential quantifier we mean that that uh, uh, this px statement okay uh, it is true for some particular value of x okay if we can find one x for which this statement is true then we say that that there exist x for this px is true uh, is true okay and and uh, if you cannot find uh, any x for which this px is true then we say that that uh, uh, there exist x for which this px statement is true is false okay uh, then in that case it is false for uh, every value of x in the domain i just uh, show you one table so uh, the statement for all x px okay uh, when it is true uh, we say that that uh, this statement px is true for every x okay and when this statement is false if we can find one x for which this statement is false then we say that that uh, uh, this p uh, for all x px uh, is false okay this statement uh, this statement uh, in that case we say that it is a, uh, the its uh, truth value is false okay uh, if there exist an x for which this px is true okay if we can find one x for which this px is true then we say that this statement is true and if px uh, x falls for every x uh, then we say that there exist x px is true this statement is false okay so uh, we now solve some uh, examples of uh, this okay uh, just uh, so we now solve some examples of this okay so that uh, you may get the better understanding of it see the question is this uh, that qx is the statement that x is less than 2 okay uh, what is the truth value of the quantification for all x qx now we want to tell that uh, is this statement true for all the real numbers because uh, here the underlying set is the set of real numbers okay so you see that that if i set 
x value equal to 3 here then it becomes 3 less than 2 okay so 3 less than 2 uh, it is a false statement okay it is a false statement okay now as this statement is false okay so we can say that that the truth value the truth value for all x uh, this px statement is true is false why it is false because i have found here one number okay i have found here one x for which this is not true okay so for all x px this statement is true uh, this statement is actually what it is a false statement okay and here uh, this 3 is called the counter example now we see some more examples now the question is this that uh, uh, here we have px where x square is greater than 0 okay so we want to tell that that uh, uh, is this statement true for every x where x is a real number okay uh, here x is a real number okay so you see that that here the given statement is this x square greater than 0 now you check that that can i find any number for which this becomes false yes uh, if i set here x value equal to 0 then 0 square greater than 0 mean 0 is greater than 0 this is completely a false statement okay uh, it may be true for other number but i have found here one number for which this is false so the truth value the truth value for all x this is px statement is true uh, it is false okay it is not correct okay now next next problem see uh, sometime you are uh, not given uh, directly the set of real numbers or the set of real number a uh, set of a natural number sometime you are directly given uh, a domain like this uh, in which we have finite number of element x1 x2 and x3 okay uh, and when we want to check this thing that for all x our px is uh, true uh, it is same as the conjunction px1 okay and px2 okay and uh, up to so on pxn okay it uh, if it is true for every value of x it means that it is true for px1 and px2 and pxn okay uh, because we know that that uh, the answer of it is true okay the final answer is true uh, if all these statements they are true okay otherwise otherwise uh, it is uh, it is uh, false okay if all these values they are true only then the answer is true otherwise it is false and when do we uh, use this when we have the finite domain okay in which uh, we are given finite number of elements for example the question is this that what is the truth value for all x this px is true uh, where the px is the statement uh, x square less than 10 and the domain consists of positive integers not exceeding 4 okay uh, so it means that in the domain we have element 1 2 3 and 4 okay because this domain does not uh, exceed number great, great uh, exceed number 4 okay so we have numbers up to uh, 4 here okay now what is p1 p1 is 1 square less than 1 10 so it implies that 1 is less than 10 so p1 it is a true statement okay now what is p2 p2 mean 2 square it is less than 10 so mean 4 is less than 10 so this is also true now what is p3 statement 3 square it is less than 10 means that 9 is less than 10 this is also a true statement but p4 uh, it is 4 square less than 10 uh, means that 16 is less than 10 so this is a false statement